up guys so today i'm down at broadlands lakes apologize in advance for the uh traffic noise just off the side of the motorway here today we're after pike um mainly pike but i've got a another rod just set up for anything that's close in maybe a perch got worms on um, as far as i can tell there's just one more person in the distance over there but it's a perfect morning not much wind you know it's overcast a little bit of sun peeking through hopefully pick up my first pike rod wise I've got out uh, for floating JW Young quiver tip, 11 foot. That's what I've got the small float set up on. And the other one is, I think it's a nine foot winchwood or something. But uh, fingers crossed. We've got the float laying down. So if a pike takes it, you'll see it either, it'll go under or be pulled across the top of the water. We've got our little setup over there. So, fingers crossed. There we go. Our first fish from Broadlands Lakes. It looks like a roach. Not sure, I'll ask the expert. Beautiful colours. Just had my first bite, pike, pike, bite. Oh, something on it again. I just cast it straight back out. This on again. There we go. There he goes. Keep your rod up all the time. Keep it out of Camera's on. Feels like a good one, Jake. Don't slack that. Don't slack the light. You take the camera, mate. Got my Come first on. ever pike. I missed a bike, cast back out within 10 seconds. It was back. I took it again. Do here, mate. We'll disconnect that. Yeah. 
pass over to you now. Uh, so what we've got to do here, we've got to be careful because the trepples could be in here. Yeah. So you got to hold them like this. Just get me in there. Right. I've firmly got him now. Oh, well, okay. Feet. That is. Can you see that? Yeah, I got it. I just want to get rid of this one first if we can. Can you get that out of that net? There we go. Right here. That's how you hold it in the yeah. gills. Yeah. Inside the gill rakers, the sharp teeth like that. Okay, yeah. So you've got to be very careful with it. A very gentle fish, you know. Bit of blood on him. Lovely fast for me. Look at that. Lovely. Nice points, Into a fish. That one had just cast out on it. Guys, here's our little rope. Another one. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's two, two pike now already. Still early on. Uh, it's on dead bait as well. Um, I had mine on sardine. I think that maybe might have been mackerel. And elite as well. So, yeah, brilliant. We wanted to use live bait. We wanted to use live bait, but uh, we got here and uh, they couldn't get out to their little like crate thing that they've got in the river. So, uh, we can't use any live bait at the moment. Maybe later on in the day when the uh, water levels drop might be able to uh, get a few live baits and get them out but at the moment got my float just out there my rod set up on the bank there and just having a little bit of fun just on uh, this little float there you go look all I've done is chucked it over the edge I've not even set it out red it yet but uh, there might be a fish on there No, but it was having a bite. And Jake's in. 
another point. That's my float there. <laughs> Oh, this is a wide view, Jake, is it? This camera? Yeah, wide angle. Oh, look at that. That's a beastie. That's quite a fat one, mate. I'll wear it out a little bit. It's still going. Hey. When you get it in the net, make sure you hold that trace. Okay. Yeah, it's going to leak, it's going to leak. It's going to leak. I'm trying to film as well. That's a lovely point, Jake. Yeah. It's going to go. Trace tight. Come on, baby. And we got a junior fisherman here as well. Right, don't slack in any of that net. Don't get any slack in that net. Right. Don't give it no slack. Don't cover its mouth up. Right, babe, can you take the baby? That's a lovely point. Can you take that as well? Hang right, hang on, Jake. Let me get this, mate. Can you get yeah. that? Get the camera on it. Got it. Let me get it off of here. Where do you want me? He's fat, isn't he? It's lovely, isn't she. it? That's a she, mate, that one. All rode up. Oh, I'm showing this a turn her over. Yeah, I'm just about to move. I'm just going to say to you, put it up like this. Oh. Yeah, because there's a lot of bream jumping, uh, not bream, roach, jumping about. So I'm going to chuck it closer in, and then it disappeared. No. Twelve and a half pound. Go for that. Twelve and a half. Lovely. We get it back. PB. Second pike. Still got loads of life. Beat that was. Twelve and a half pounds. Not bad for my second pike. Proper fat lump. Like I was saying, I was it's been out there for a good while. So I was just about to move it. And Mark was walking up, and all of a sudden, bam, float was gone. Uh, I was gonna move it close in, which I've done now because there's been a lot of uh, activity on top of the water, like ropes jumping out. Don't know if you saw one just there. There you go, look, there's something swimming around here as well. But um, yeah, I was going to chuck it close in and see what had happened, but didn't need to. Get in. Was that it again, just coming over to see me? And another pipe. Whose rod's that? <laughs> You're just coming up to me again.
Going for it. It's uh, still there. <laughs> Lovely one. Yeah. Well, don't suck that, yeah. That's what happened early on, wasn't it? <laughs> See how important this is, Jake. Yeah. Flip it off, get out of the way. You know, all out of the way. People put it in the way. Shall I put a net down? Yeah, put it in there. Just more blood. Look, yeah. bit, that big one got me. Look, always have a first aid kit. Ain't stop bleeding. Like their mouth. Ah, it's gonna be frosty this one. There you go. Teeth on that. Lovely, yeah. You wouldn't want to get bit by one, would you? Not really, mate. No. <laughs> we'll get it back in. Jack about four or five pounds. Bit more. Um, we'll wait it. We'll go five. Yeah, we'll say five. Yeah, we'll say five. Say five pounds. Oh, surprising. That's teared off to these, by the way. Eight and a half. We'll say eight and a half. Yeah. Eight and a half? No, eight. Eight, eight four. Eight pound four ounce. Eight pound four. That surprised me. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm just going to lower you in because there are hundreds of fish down here. Good guy. We are guys, just hooked into another little one. Just have another little roach. So it's about one o'clock now. So far we've had four pike between us. Um, did I miss one? Yeah, I missed one. Mark's missed one. And Alita's missed one as well. So, you know, that could have been seven pike. Also having great fun on this little rod. Just after a little roach and that. I was hoping there'd be a perch around here. Uh, apparently there are. It's just finding them. So, yeah, it's been a great day. First ever pike. Um, and it was about 12 pounds, five ounces, so. Well, that was my second pike today. First one was maybe around nine pound mark. So, um, yeah, I'm well chuffed for that. I would just say here as well that if you do see any of uh, sort of blood that are on the pike, it's mainly from us. You know, got really sharp bits behind the gills and that. 
and gill plates. So, um, and as you can see, just on my thumb there, there's a little chunk out. I don't know how that happened. Don't know if it was from the pike or a hook, but that's not stopped bleeding since. But um, yeah, hopefully there's plenty more to come. Right guys, I've just seen, just down here, right by my feet, two pike swimming together, like crossing over and under each other, and then coming up and smashing a load of bait. And the whole of this like area in here, just like boiled, looked like boiling water. So I've just walked up here, dropped my dead bait down there onto that float, and it's just got up, set up down there. So hopefully, you know, if the pike come back in, they're going to take that, surely. But, yeah, just playing with my little float set up. And bam, two big pike come along. Oh. Right, here's the set up with this one, guys. Just with a worm. Hooked through the saddle bit of the worm there. Size 16 hook. And I've got three uh, AAA shots. And a tiny little, can't remember what size that is, just to keep the bait down straight. A little Avon float. There we go, look. But that's what's been catching me the uh, all the roach today just in this little area I've tried various places just down there by the margins and not had any success so I thought I'd just keep it here just drop it in the middle There we go, little bite already. Try and get it so you can see. Miss that one. It's quite a big worm on there. Well, a little worm, but a long one. So it probably had hold of its tail. There we go, guys. Second species, so, well, second target species accomplished. Got ourselves a little perch. Just get it back. See that float's just gone under there. Oh, uh, go back down a minute. Reeling that slack. I've got my head mount today and my chest mount. You're just on the stick, so that's why some of the shots have been a bit awkward and and that. But here we go. A little nibble again. There we go. Got a little perch. There we go. Look at him. That's probably a PB perch for me. <laughs> little mini species. Awesome fish though. Right, we'll quickly get back. Just in time. Got another little perch. Here we go. Perfect little mini. What a pretty fish. Let's see if we can catch a fish live on camera.
little bite. Come on. Okay, that's taking it. There we go, we're in. Is it? Another little perch. There we go. Matt! Matt! Pike just jumped out again. Here we go. Stunning fish. Right guys, that's it for today. Um, target species were perch, but most of all pike. I mean, we we had pike within the first hour, I think. So the first bite was probably an estimation of around eight, nine pound. Way my second one, the big one, that came in at I think twelve pound five ounces. So well happy with that. Um, and then I've also caught uh, a few little perch on my uh, float rod. Yeah. There's been plenty of action just up the top end there. A pike jumping out. I've seen two pike working together, hitting the bait. You know that it's been active up there, but I've not been able to pull one out up there. But um, yeah, I've had two. I think Mark's had one, Lolita's had one, so two for them as well. We've missed probably five or six between us, so it's been a really good day. Conditions have not been great now. Rain's getting heavy, but we're still here, having fun. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. If you could leave a like and uh, also hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to leave comments as well. I we'll always reply to you guys. If you've got any questions, any tips for me, just leave it below. I'm new to uh, all this fresh water stuff, as you can tell by um, probably what I'm saying, but by my page already, it's full of salt water stuff. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching.